What's up everybody, and happy Halloween to you all. Welcome to another Let's Watch. This is a special Let's Watch for two reasons. Number one, it's a big season finale. That's right, we've got ourselves the MLP season seven finale called Shadow Play, which I'm very excited about thanks to the ending of the last episode. Setting it up with the book. Very ominous, very, uh, got me hyped. Also, because it's Halloween, I decided that I could make things a little bit spookier here for you guys. And uh, to add to the effect, I'm going to call on an old buddy of mine. And hopefully you are all thoroughly creeped out. For those of you who don't know, this is a leucistic ball python. His name is Tusk, and he's going to be joining me for this Let's Watch, provided he behaves himself. So, let's get him all situated here. And let's get this thing started, shall we? I could say a lot about getting ready for this finale, but uh, I think it's going to be good enough to speak for itself. So let's pull this thing up and get it started, shall we? Also, I'm going to stop talking creepy. <laughs> it's probably not working anyway. All right, here we go, guys. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Three, two, one, play. The best All right, within us right into it. Light and virtue, and I know ponies who represent them all: strength, bravery, healing, beauty, hope. All right. Oh, that's all the lore, isn't it? Myself and these pillars of Equestria were gathered. Star Swirl, Mist Mane, Mage Meadowbrook. The light of these powerful ideals, but we soon came to believe the pony who brought us together only wanted that power for himself. Uh-huh. Cast out and alone, this power-mad pony turned to darkness to satisfy his... Star voice. Swirl. Transformed into a pony of shadows, he returned for revenge. Pony of to shadows? To extinguish the pillar's light and rob the world of hope. To stop him, the pillars and I must make a brave sacrifice. Oh, boy. But we shall leave behind a seed in hopes that one day it will grow into a force to stand against the darkness for all time. We must now face the fiend with the only plan we have. I only hope it will be enough. Wow. That's the last entry. That's an intro. Maybe Star Swirl's final words before he vanished. Vanished? Vanished or died? Intro! Uh, my used to wonder what friendship could be you all shared its magic with me tons of fun faithful and strong it's an easy feat my little pony oh boy What happened to Star Swirl? Haven't we all? Quite a discovery, Sunburst. So it's genuine? You can verify that this journal really belonged to Star Swirl the Beard. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Twilight's all about that. The looks of it, the last thing he wrote before facing the pony of shadows. Uh so the pony of shadows yeah. is really real? It appears so. Yeah. He never met the other pillars. There's a callback. Too young to understand the danger they faced. Hold on a second now. All those legendary ponies were real too, and they went off with Star Swirl to face the Pony of Shadows, and then none of them were ever heard from again. Uh huh. Well, yeah, but they must have defeated the villain, since Equestria is still full of light and hope. But how? And where did they go? My old pony. Or did they? But I wonder if the answers can be found somewhere within the pages of this book. Well, I just happen to be an expert in old yep. Finnish. I mean, I practice. If anybody can figure that out, it's Twilight. World there is. Seriously, all of them. We have fond memories of our old teacher. If you could discover what happened to him, we would be most grateful. Oh, so Star Swirl was uh... a thousands-year-old mystery could take forever. Think of the research, the re-reading, the re-re-reading. You're talking to the wrong people, guys. Uh, star, uh, sunburst. 
Luckily, she's got a whole bushel of help. Right there. Right here. Totally. The purple one. That's the one you want to talk to. How long will all this research take exactly? Let's get this back to my library. I'm sure we'll figure out what happened. It's okay, Dash. You can leave it to Twilight and Sunburst. They'll call you when they find something. Poor Spike. Figure it out yet, Twilight? What did you figure out? You figured something out? What is it? Nothing. I mean, Star Swirl was a genius, obviously. But forget old Ponish. There's parts where his horn writing is like another language. Oh. <laughs> Twilight. We've horn been writing. Studying and referencing and cross-referencing for three days straight now. Three days? I haven't spent this Tusk, are you getting sleepy already? Since the last Daring Do book came out. Perhaps it is time to take a break. This mystery is over a thousand years old after all. Another day or two won't make a difference. Of course not. Two days? I don't want to waste two seconds. I'm close to an answer. I can feel it. Here, Silvamse Ponehenge. What's that? The Temple of Ponehenge? You can read Ponehenge. <laughs> the handwriting is pretty sloppy, but it's nowhere near as bad as mine. Tawar Dal Grimnik of Fola Fyrgin? Watch out there, Starlight! At the base You're gonna cast a spell! Usur Endemest Shield. <gasps> Our last stand. <sighs> well, that sure sounds like a clue to me. Yeah, you stay there, Spike. You're just a baby dragon, after all. I lost a pumpkin. Oh well. We're still good with one. Ponehenge. I love that. I've never seen magical runes like these before. Have you? Uh-uh. I don't think any pony's seen any of this for a long time. Doesn't look that way, does it? It take a whole team of ponies to clear away all this brush. Even then, I'm not sure we'd find out what happened here over a thousand years ago. Uh, you're right. I suppose it was a long shot. Cheer up, Twilight. Finding a whole set of ancient ruins is pretty impressive. Indeed. Or maybe you could write a paper on it. I guess I hoped we'd get here and the mystery would just magically be explained. When has that ever happened? Uh, Twilight? <gasps> Hello there, Star Swirl. Star Swirl? I, I've wanted to meet you my whole life. I can't believe you're here. I don't think he is here. I don't well. think any of them are. Ooh. Just give it time there, guys. Once I defeat all of you, this round will embrace the darkness, as I did so long ago. This is pretty awesome. <laughs> Drawing me here will only make me stronger. You will never defeat me. So this is a we playback of the... This reenacts what happened, doesn't it? What are you doing? We came to contain you. To imprison you. Oh, but they gotta contain themselves too. Okay, that's what I thought, that they, they sacrificed themselves somehow. Indeed. Careful what you wish for, Twilight. Uh, what just happened? It looked like Star Swirl cast a spell that banished the Pony of Shadows. Of course. Powerful magic like that would leave an impression on this place. Bringing the book back here let us see what happened. Which was what? 
Star Swirl and the rest of the pillars sacrificed themselves to save Equestria. Mm -hmm. It's amazing to think one of the Hi, Lyra and bon bon. of Equestria was solved with a musty old book from an antique <sighs> shop. But I wouldn't say that now Mr. this is what I've been waiting on this swirl, this show. This is what I've been waiting on this show to do. It'll take years of study before we fully understand it. I think I understand Star Swirl's spell. I know I finished one of Star Swirl's spells before, but this one was on a whole different level. Was it an explosion of magical feedback? An evocation? A kind of incantation? It's Star Swirl, so the possibilities are endless. And once Starlight set me on the right track with his crazy horn riding, <laughs> I mean, he was a genius, so I guess it's going to be a little messiness. I went through the journal again. He's geeking out so bad. Twilight, darling. We understand you're excited, but that's all we understand. What exactly is so amazing? Only how Star Squirrel and the other pillars sent the Pony of Shadows to limbo. They did what now? Weren't you paying attention, Applejack? They used their magic to open a portal between worlds to limbo and pulled the Pony of Shadows inside. Darling, your diorama! I made more. Of course she did. Star Squirrel thought the only way to trap the Pony of Shadows in limbo was for the pillars to take him there. So they got stuck too. The Pony of Shadows must have been really awful for them to do that. I suppose being trapped for all time with a super duper bad guy in limbo might be okay if you were doing the limbo. <laughs> but that's still pushing it. I doubt is, that, Pinky. I think I can get them out. Do you want to do that? You can save the most legendary ponies of all time? I don't know. Opening portals between worlds didn't work uh -huh. well for me. Uh -huh. Are you sure it's safe? First of all, you opened portals through time. And second of all, Star Swirl wrote the spell you used to do it. If he'd been here, he could have stopped it. A question would be safe <laughs> Jeez. in it. Jeez. Savage Twilight. But you'd be saving all the pillars, right? And they disappeared ages ago. That's the thing about Limbo. It isn't one place or another. It's in between, so time stands still. If we can pull them out, it'll be like they never left. They never aged. I actually built another model to demonstrate. Ugh. <laughs> Come on, Dash. If I'm right, we need to find items that are connected to the pillars in some way. You mean like stuff that belonged to them? How would we know what to look for? Or where? Stuff you probably should have been looking for all season. took a lot of notes. My compatriots are as varied as the realm itself and hail from every corner of our land, bringing with them artifacts and talismans of great power. Um, Twilight? What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. They're gonna show up on the map, aren't they? That Magnus is shield! Miss Maine's flower! Meadowbrook's mask! And the blindfold Samantha war which she faced that nasty sphinx! I guess we don't need to figure out who should get what. Oh wow! So those, so they were doing that. They were doing that all season, and we didn't even know it. Legends don't wear helmets. This belongs to That's nice. I like that. Oh, I can guarantee Rock Hook was as real as you and me. <laughs> and I suppose that Ravine was dug with his trusty shovel to save the village from an erupting volcano. Hey, what you guys don't know. I won't hurt you. Legends as much as any pony, but a pony strong enough to save a village from rushing lava with a shovel is preposterous. Yes, there's definitely no such thing as magic in this world. Well then. I can't believe you just did that. You saved us. I bet if you told some pony else the story, it might sound preposterous. <laughs> Years of apple bucking. I suppose some stories might be true. And Rock Hoofs appears to be one of them. What do you want? Come on, watch the show. Oh no. Tusk is not a pony fan. To yourself, dearie. This place has been in my family for generations, 
And I'm not about to let some whippersnapper take the last good piece of it. Time was, ponies came from far and wide to see these gardens. Another recolored Granny Smith. Flowers, the only worthwhile thing left. Yeah, leave it to Rarity. <laughs> Perhaps it just seemed like your gardens were worthless, but a little pruning can work wonders. Of course, you will have to look after more than Damn, just Rarity. one flower now. You've given me back my family's legacy. The flower you wanted seems like a fair tree for that. Good job, Rarity. I can't believe Flash Magnus' shield ended up in the Dragonlands. Good thing you brought the official equestrian. Didn't you tell the story? Dragons to help you navigate our customs. Like our favorite sport, Gorg Serpent! Now how did Rainbow Dash end up with Spike? I guess it makes sense since Spike is a dragon. It's just still a kind of a strange. That's a strange pairing. That was awesome. Yes, it was. Dragon Lord Ember commanded us to make peace with ponies, but it doesn't mean you can surf in our spot. <laughs> just hang in there. Hang in there, Dash. I have to say that's not very friendly. Well, what do you know? Oh God. Not him again. Hey, don't you remember what Spike said? Hooks off my gorge board. I found it in the desert. And finders keepers. Oh boy. It isn't yours. Huh. It sure looks like mine. To be fair. consider racing for it. No problem. Oh, Dash is in for a race. Um, no. But. I mean, you. Oh. Yeah. To be fair, to Garble, that probably is something he found. You know? It's just the fact that he's a tool, you know? Oh, come on, Spike. You gotta stick to landing. Hey, whatever works. I won! I won! Woohoo! Give up the shield, Garble! Lord Ember only commanded us to be nice to ponies. She never said anything about pony loving dragons. Uh, since Dragon Lord Ember commanded you to make peace with ponies, you can't very well attack one of their friends, can you? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, don't expect Dash to show any mercy. Falling with style. Learn from Buzz Lightyear. Fine. I'll race you back to the top. If you win, you can have your pony jump. But if I win, you'll lead, and I get to give it to him. Fine. I'm pretty sure I could beat you anyway. But with that heavy hunk of metal on your back, it'll be a snap. Huh? <laughs> oh yeah. Thanks for the tip. See you at the top. <laughs> just ditch him. Seriously, just ditch him. Yep. <laughs> nice. Oh god. <laughs> that that's classic Rainbow Dash right there. Hey guys. Cattail, right? <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't it make more sense for you to wear the mask that calms the bees? It would. If I didn't have to fly up here to move the car. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty impressive to uh, reattach a hive like that. You know, you did yeah. have How about that? This. I would have lent you the mask anyway. I know. <laughs> but I couldn't leave without helping. 
Element of kindness. Oh, hi, Daring Do. Is this Pinky's? This is Pinky's mission, isn't it? <laughs> Just like draining a bathtub. Yes, you were, Pinky. Is it safe to touch that stuff? So I'm sure that's not the worst thing Pinky's ever touched. You're actually going through with it. What do you mean? I'm all for pushing the envelope, obviously, but this is pretty out there for you, Twilight. Yeah, you're gonna bring back the Pony of Shadows. The most legendary ponies of all time from a thousands-year-old prison. Well, nothing when you say it like that. Unless the most legendary ponies of all time knew what they were doing, and we shouldn't mess with it. I'm sure Star Swirl and the Pillars did the best they could back then, but magic has come a long way. Has it? Because of the work they did. That's true, and you did get your wings from finishing one of Star Swirl's spells. Exactly. But then I messed with one and nearly destroyed the universe, so. Mm -hmm. Starlight. Star Swirl the Bearded is the greatest wizard who ever lived. The chance to have him back in Equestria is worth the risk. That's good news. Otherwise, he'd have brought this shield for nothing. I hope you don't think you're the only one to find her artifact. Because this here shovel says otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> They're all so proud of themselves. Not everything is a competition. But this main flower is by far the most attractive of the artifacts. Yes, it is pretty. I'll give you that. Good work, everyone. Let's do this seems like a bad idea. I'm a Starlight. I'm totally with Starlight on this. This is going to bring back the Pony of Shadows. A thousand years. What? No, 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 no. You must undo what you've done. What? Why? I mean, I don't think I can. You cannot bring us back. But I did. I brought all the pillars back. You cannot bring only the pillars back. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah. Ah! Yep. Didn't see that one coming, did you, Twilight? That's the last entry. Star Swirl's final words before he vanished. All those legendary ponies were real too, and then none of them were ever heard from again. They used their magic to open a portal to Limbo. How in the world does Twilight not know? How did she not know that would happen? You cannot bring only the pillars back. <laughs> so, can they beat this guy? Your pitiful attempt to imprison me has failed, Star Swirl. You must return us to Limbo. It's the only way to stop him. I only figured out how to bring you back. Working on it. No table of contents. Allow me to assist. <laughs> the power of Bonehenge, your banishing spell is useless. You have studied my writings. Surely you have some other plan. No, I just wanted to save you. I didn't think... Don't fret. When I extinguish the light and hope of this miserable world, you won't remember any of this. No! Ah! Ooh. This is almost as strong as you, Starswell. Nice! What a strong little... Starlight, get in here. Starlight, get in here. There you go. Know this, fiend. 
We will not rest until we find a way to return. I've wanted to see him fight forever. For, for... Never! Your days of glory are through, Starsworth. Now my dark power will reign. And you six will bow to me! Can we get Discord in here too? There you go! That is a riddle we must unravel. And quickly! How long have we been gone? Over a thousand years? It's always a thousand years. Before it was meddled with, and the realm has been yeah. at peace for a millennia. Everybody from Nightmare Moon and Discord and Chrysalis and King Sombra and Lord T-Rex and there was that one time when Starlight traveled through time and almost destroyed life as we know it. But that's all in the past. <laughs> yeah, you missed all that, didn't you? We will stop the Pony of Shadows twice as fast together. We shall see. It is an easy thing to say you have saved the world. It is quite another to do it. Oh, we've saved the world. I was going to say, they've done it like, can do it again. how many times now? That is it may. The problem of locating the Pony of Shadows remains, and this land is vast. It sounds like it we is. need a map. Luckily, we have, we have one of those, don't we? Something about this magic seems familiar. Oh! Did you know he can do that? He stars for He can do anything. This map, and indeed this very castle, are grown from the seed we planted over a thousand years ago. Then it yep. did work. What worked? Each of us infused a crystal seed with our magic in hopes that it would grow into a forceful good. We wanted to leave something to protect the realm in our absence, but we never dreamed our gift would become so powerful. Y'all mean the elements came from you? Well, I guess they did. Yeah. Sparkly crystal things that grow from the tree of harmony and represent each of us? Laughter, honesty, generous, <laughs> kindness, and magic. They are reflections of our own elements of hope, strength, beauty, bravery, healing, and sorcery. Nice. Poor Starlight, she's just left out. Dear, our small seed would bloom into the living spirit of the land. I am glad our mantles have passed to such capable ponies. More importantly, we no longer need bone heads to send our foe back to Limbo. We can use the stored magic in this tree of art. But doesn't a banishing spell take a lot of power? We'd have to sacrifice the elements for that. Mm -hmm. Haven't you already done that? Forever? Star Swirl, I don't think the tree can survive without the elements. If it dies, Equestria will suffer. If the Pony of Shadows has his way, your land will not exist. So, unless you have a better idea... Do they? Our foe will seek dark places from which to draw power. I will prepare my spell, so that we may strike as soon as you find him. What are we waiting for? I like your spirit. Oh, oh yeah. Hmm. What about this one? Twilight's feeling a bit guilty now. Sea pony etiquette. Uh, Twilight, are you okay? I just unleashed ultimate evil and doomed Equestria because I was obsessed with meeting my idol. Why wouldn't I be okay? Right. I didn't know that was gonna happen. But I no, it's not like anybody told you. Alone. Now the elements of harmony will be lost to fix my mistake. Maybe there's another way. If there is, Twilight will find it. Portal gate, portal keys, portal spells. Yes! If the pillars can hold open the gateway to Limbo, a powerful pony can do the vanishing spell herself. Do you know what this means? We just happen to have a powerful pony, don't we? The pillars don't have to leave Equestria. Even though we'll lose the elements, we'll have the ponies that created them, and the Pony of Shadows will be banished for good. That's great. <laughs> But I was thinking of another way that maybe doesn't involve banishing at all. Star Swirl knew what he was doing when he cast that. Why don't you listen to her? Make it even better. Maybe he'll see that I take magic as seriously as he does. Come on, Twilight. It seems the dark place that Star Swirl indicated on the map have changed. 
I Indeed. The pony of shadows would have loved the ghastly caverns. <laughs> who would have thought? Who would have thought Manhattan would be a dark place? The Appalachian wastes sure sounded dark and desolate. Who knew they would become such a popular square dancing destination? And I get how this part of the quest right used to be cast in eternal night, where the pony of shadows could draw power and wreak havoc while ponies were powerless to stop them. But you know, kind of like the castle. Call me OCD. It's a pumpkin. Corners in the realm these days. Isn't that a good thing? True. The Pony of Shadows will have a hard time regaining power. When he rears his head, we'll be ready. Isn't there some way to banish him without losing all of you? Oh, I wish there were. But to save our home, we are willing to leave it. I don't think you'll have to. My spell isn't finished yet. But I think we can send the Pony of Shadows to Limbo without all of you having to go as well. That would be nice. While I appreciate your enthusiasm, Twilight, this is hardly <laughs> the time to take risks on half-baked spells. Oh. Begging your pardon, Mr. The Bearded, but Twilight Mr. The Bearded. anything halfway. Especially not magic. Seriously, she got her wings by finishing one of your spells. I think you'll find her work is worth reading before you dismiss it out of hope. Mm -hmm. That's fair. While it is an unconventional approach, I believe it could work. Hmm. I suppose there is a chance. But we still have no idea where to find the Star Swirl's not gonna like being one up, is he? Oh, here we go. I was wondering about the map. I called it, I just didn't realize. Maybe we should try there. <laughs> What makes you say that, Spike? The hollow shades. I think a branch of the Apple family lives there. Well, they have to be pretty distant. The hollow shades was abandoned eons ago. Hmm, that's odd. The only time the maps called all of us to one place was Starlight's Village. So it's like a supervillain tracker. No offense. <laughs> Do you think the map could be trying to tell us where the Pony of Shadows is? It never gets old. It never Twilight gets old. Realm. Yes, a good thought, Twilight. I will make my notes on this step. Ready Twilight's happy now. She just got complimented. I'm not as experienced as all of you, but is banishment really the only option? I mean, it's been a long time. Maybe the Pony of Shadows is ready to talk? I doubt That's probably not true. But we could try. Starlight. I'm sure Starswill and the others did try. The Pony of Shadows was not interested in reconciliation. Once a villain, always a villain. Well, now that's not always Twilight, true. Sunburst, would you accompany me? I think. Find the spell I think us. Discord and Starlight would both uh, Come, argue with that. For the struggle ahead. <sighs> I know Starswill is a great wizard, but this whole plan seems wrong. The maps only ever sent us to solve friendship problems. Maybe so, but the Pony of Shadows doesn't really seem like the friendship type. Honestly, we don't know anything about it. That's true. No pony does. That's not entirely true. And there's so much going on in this episode. I'm gonna have to watch this like three more times to catch everything. Tale of our rift is a saga. Sea ponies! Or, or are those sirens? Those are sirens! Ah! Oh. was a pony like the rest of us, though more scholar than hero. He recognized our emerging world would need champions to defend it. Right? Because Star Swirl banished the sirens to the... Nice. He may have gathered us together, but he himself... <laughs> and then they went to Canterlot High. ...unicorn who soon grew jealous of our abilities. He stole objects from each of us. Artifacts to use in a spell. 
and we cast him out for it. We always thought he'd return and seek forgiveness. But when we saw him again, his heart was bent on revenge. He dashed even my hope of saving him. But why did he steal the artifacts from you? No doubt. Was he jealous? To take our powers for himself. Hmm. He was jealous because he wasn't as strong as them, I guess. That looks or maybe like I just completely works. missed it. It is what must be done. It While I was in thought. We not I'm sorry, Starlight, but we can't stop. You know. The stakes are too high, and we have to vanish Stygian into limbo. I get it. Star Swirl, the beard's bearded is was the name the kind of an asshole. Gave up when he turned to darkness. And I'm just trying to figure out why. Envy. He wanted more power than he had, and that desire led him down a path from which there is no return. Stygian, where have I heard I that name before? Experience. That's not always true. When the map called you six to my village, it was for a friendship problem. Are you sure this is different? I... Stygian wants to destroy all that is good in this world. There's so did Starlight. No to befriend a pony like that. So did Discord. So lucky your idol wasn't around when you decided to be my friend. I might have been banished to Limbo too. Poor Starlight. I am glad we had the chance to see what has grown from our efforts so long ago. It seems a shame to harm it. Starlight's gonna be the hero, isn't she? With the element's power, we will bind the Pony of Shadows in the middle. And thanks to Twilight, we will remain to watch over the realm ourselves. Why do I get the feeling this is not going to work? work for us. The elements are attuned to you. We must use their magic in pairs. No problem. We're used to banishing evil before breakfast. <laughs> and it'll be an honor to say Dash. breakthrough with y'all. I really hope Twilight knows what she's doing. Yeah. yeah. I don't remember reading anything that said the Hollow Shades was like this. It is a friendship map. <laughs> The Pony of Shadows must have twisted it to his purposes. Twilight's just so caught up in this that she doesn't realize that. Compare yourselves. He is here. Stygian, show yourself and face us! <laughs> Stygian, where have I heard that name before? Where are we? I definitely would have remembered reading about this. <laughs> Welcome to the Well of Shame. When you turned your backs on me, I discovered this place. The darkness spoke to me of a power beyond any I could imagine, and I listened. The shadow and I became one. Soon, all the realm will be the same. He's huge. Then all ponies will feel the despair I did when you cast me out. We did what we had to do. You tried to steal our powers for yourself. No, it was you who were selfish. Now, you will pay. Are you still sure this isn't a friendship problem? Ready? Open the portal. Now! <sighs> no! You will not trap me again! Twilight, push him in! Huh? There's a pony in there! <laughs> Uh oh. Did, what, what? Are you. Speaking? Okay. I was once until my friends betrayed me. But Star Swirl says you betrayed them. You wanted their magic. No, I wanted their respect. I brought them together. 
I planned strategy and I read all I could about the beasts we faced. But I didn't have magic or strength. He kind of matches Sunburst, doesn't he? I went to Ponehenge to make my own copies of the artifacts. With them, I thought I could be a pillar too and stand by their side in battle. I never wanted to steal their power. But instead of sharing and letting me help, my friends threw me out. So I became stronger than any of them. The darkness welcomed me when no pony would. I will do what I must to protect it. This is all a misunderstanding. If the pillars knew how you felt, I'm sure they wouldn't have turned their backs on you. The shadow isn't who you really are. Let me help you be Stygian again. Even if my friends did still care, what makes you think you have the power to help me? Because it's what she does. Because she's a princess of friendship, motherfucker. Starlight helped me change. If there's one pony in Equestria that can save a friendship, it's her. But the darkness will not be. But the darkness! <laughs> Come on, Starlight! You don't need it anymore! Revenge isn't what you want! Friendship is! Come on, Starlight! Help her out! There you go! What took you so long? Why don't the yeah, why don't they help? There you go. Now I'll push him in. Nice. Did that do it? <laughs> I bet, Rainbow Dash. The elements, they didn't disappear. Maybe because no? we used them for healing magic instead of banishing? Look! Yep. Long ago, you needed our help, Stygian. But instead of listening, we turned our backs on you. I clouded my judgment. I owe yeah. you an apology. Thank you for helping he was a proud us the errors of our ways, Twilight. It seems I never accounted for the magic of friendship. Thank you, Swirl. Well, that's Star Swirl. That was kind of shown in the spell that Twilight finished. That. <clears throat> so apparently, a conversation can save a question. <laughs> <laughs> Something tells me I will be making a lot of apologies today. Yeah. I simply cannot believe how tall you've gotten. <laughs> well, it has been over. How do you get your hair to do that? Can you stay here and teach magic once again? My sister and I have such fond memories of your lessons. As long as you don't ask for those essays we owed you before you disappeared. <laughs> yeah, of course. I'm not certain Cantalock is where I belong. The realm has grown, and I believe I'll have a look around before I settle in any one place. So we're going to keep Star Swirl? I'm to see what has become of my home. I believe we all do. Man, I can't believe that they were doing this the whole season, and it just... It just got past us all. Look no further than your own people. She showed me that the power of friendship is a magic... Oh, man. And that in turning away from others, you hurt yourself as well. Twilight's entire life is made. It's funny. I thought meeting my idol would give me all the answers I ever wanted. But instead, I forgot what I already knew. Good thing I had a student of my own to remind me. Aww. Nice. Very nice. It's been a long time. It's been a long time since I've seen an episode like this one. In fact, I don't know if I've ever seen an episode like this one. I'm going to have to watch it again. Um, you know, 
probably a couple times, three, four more times. <laughs> I'm going to watch this one again for sure, guys. Um, this is one of the best uh, two-parters ever in the series. I'll go ahead and say it right now. Um, I'll have to watch it a few more times and let it sink in and let time do its thing. Um, but I may have just seen my favorite episode of this series. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but hey, guys, uh, I'm not going to stop and I'm not going to sit here and do a speech or anything. I'm going to put old Tusk away. Did you guys like him? Did you guys like Tusk? Did he creep you out? Was he distracting? Um, I don't know. If you did, let me know. Uh, if you liked him, let me know. Maybe he'll, uh, maybe he can appear again sometime. Uh, here and there. Just, uh, special instances like this one. Uh, but yeah, guys, I'm not gonna sit around and do a whole monologue about it. This was awesome. Um, I'm kind of speechless. It, it was just a lot to take in. And, uh, I need to probably watch it again. I need to think about it. This was this was great, guys. This was great. I've been waiting. I've been waiting a season and a half, like two and a half seasons, actually, for this show to do something like this again. Um, this is th the best I've seen since you know Twilight's Kingdom and uh, the Cutie Map for sure. Uh, so, yeah, great guys, great episode. Uh, it was totally worth the wait. Totally worth it. And I'm glad I waited until it until it released and and didn't watch it early. Um, Good job, uh, good job by the by the crew. Just uh, I'm I'm kind of speechless. I'm kind of tripping over my words here. Um, so uh, I'm gonna leave you with that. Um, again, happy Halloween. Um, hope you guys have a great time. I'm Stick Boy, and I'll see you later.